Hello everyone welcome back once again to Blessings of Life hope you are keeping good and staying safe when the world is celebrating valentine's day today is it a day just for celebrating the love of lovers not at all nowhere in the history it says valentine's day has got connection with romance this is simply a day to celebrate pure true and unconditional love We are humans and in whatever position we are we tend to have some sort of unconditional love but there is a love which is unconditional that comes from our lord god let's today and forever celebrate that unconditional love restaurants okka poya nammle menu il kaanuna or expensive dish ana chicken steak പലതരം സോസ് കൊണ്ട് ഇത് പ്രിപ്പയർ ചെയ്യാറുണ്ട് നമുക്ക് വീട്ടിൽ തന്നെ വളരെ എക്സ്പെൻസ് കുറഞ്ഞ അതേ രുചി ഈ സ്റ്റേക്ക് പ്രിപ്പയർ ചെയ്യാം ലെറ്റ് സി ഹൗ എ ചിക്കൻ സ്റ്റേക്ക് ക്യാൻ ബി പ്രിപ്പയർ അറ്റ് ഹോം വിത്ത് ദ സെയിം ടേസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് റെസ്റ്റോറൻസ് ആൻഡ് കെഫേസ് ഐ ഹാവ് ടേക്കൻ ത്രീ ബോൺലെസ് പീസസ് ഓഫ് ചിക്കൻ ബ്രസ്റ്റ് വുഡ് ബി ദ ഐഡിയൽ വൺ യു നീഡ് ടു പോക്ക് ദ ചിക്കൻ ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് വിത്ത് എ ഷാർപ് എച്ച് നൈഫ് ഓർ ഫോർക്ക് മീ ടാമർ ഇസ് എ ബെസ്റ്റ് This is done so that the marinade goes into the pieces. For the marinade, I am adding 1 tablespoon of red chilli sauce, 1 tablespoon of tomato sauce, 2 tablespoons of dark soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of fish sauce, 1 teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, crushed pepper, salt and half a teaspoon of sugar. Mix it really well. Rub it well into the chicken. Nannayattu thetchu pudipichu minimum one hour maatti vikya. If you are preparing this steak for dinner and can get eight hours in fridge, that would be best. Nammade okka aduttolla cafes il nannum, restaurants il nannum okka chelepoi engil try jayaan engilum nammala annyaya velakki steak kaisittu ndau. Minimum ingredients of which how to make a tasty restaurant style steak is what we have shared today. Do comment in the comment box which is the best restaurant or cafe where you have had a yummy steak. Pour 3 to 4 tablespoons of sunflower oil to a tawa. Add the chicken pieces and close it with a lid. By giving 4 minutes on each side, our chicken will be ready. You should uh, cook this chicken on very low flame. Otherwise, if you keep it on a medium or high flame, the outer would be brown and the inside would not be cooked. For the gravy, we need onions, garlic, celery and capsicum. And the sauces we use here are soy sauce, tomato sauce, chilli sauce, garlic powder, salt, pepper and some sugar. For the gravy we are adding some butter and some sunflower oil so that the butter doesn't get burnt please don't use um, coconut oil for this uh, dish to this add chopped garlic saute well till brown a 
add the sliced onions with a teaspoon of sugar. The gravy will have a kick of pepper but the sweetness of caramelized onions too. Saute well till it gets light brown. Pour the sauces into the onion mix. Add some chopped celery which gives a wow taste to the gravy. Add cubed capsicum. Capsicum should have the crunch. Don't overcook it. Add corn flour to the same cup that you mix the sauces and making a slurry. Have mixed 1 tablespoon of corn flour to quarter cup of water. Add this slurry and mix it well. Off the flame. Steak should always be served steaming hot. Steak can be served with either mashed potatoes or herb roast potatoes. I am using herb potatoes here. Showing how to make herb roast potatoes. You can use herbs of your choice. Boil potatoes for 3 whistles. Remove the skin and cut into big chunks. Sort herbs, garlic powder, onion powder in butter. You can add herbs of your choice. Mix the potatoes well in the buttered herbs and your herbed potatoes are ready. Have some buttered cabbage, some carrots and capsicum with me to, to plate the steak. Plating the steak now. Form a bed with the buttered cabbage. Place a steak. Then the hot sauce gravy to the top. Place potatoes, buttered veggies of your choice and lightly toasted bread slices. Steak by itself is a complete meal. Serve it hot to your family with lots of love. Love is to be expressed. Celebrate love. Thank you dear ones for supporting us. Need your support and prayers to go forward. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have already subscribed, please don't forget to press the bell icon. Share the link with your family and friends. Your support means a lot to us. We'll be back with another interesting vlog. Till then, it's me, Susan, signing off. Wishing each and every subscriber a uh, year filled with love. Believe me, this steak is super tasty and has that restaurant flavor too. It is super soft and perfectly cooked. Stay tuned to Blessings of Life. Thank you so much for watching.